And this is Stella and Minnie. Hi, Minnie. What are you doing back there? Hi. What are you doing, Minnie? Are you rolling over? Stella, are you scared? What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video. Everybody in here, smash that like button, share this video and drop a comment down below during the video, after the video, before the video, whatever you feel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you want to see next. You saw by the title and the thumbnail, we got a good one. So let's get straight into this room also you guys make sure you are watching the ads all the way through I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can as long as you can as best as you can it helps to support this channel it helps to support me it helps to allow me to do this on more of a full-time basis in the future and it helps just to get me back out to the algorithm but with that being said, let's get back into the groom. Okay, guys, this is Minnie. And yes, you guessed it. She is Stella's little puppy. And she is absolutely adorable. Wait till you guys see Sebastian. She looks like a direct cross between the two of them. And she in my opinion was the best one for the grooming process for her to be maybe three and a half to four months old and this is her very first grooming she did outstanding i was very proud of her as a puppy as her first time being groomed for just anything she was awesome and like I said in Stella's video, all three of them reeked of urine. So they all got two really good scrubs. And if you did not catch Stella's video, I linked it as the very first video when the card popped up. So when you're done watching this one pop over, you can watch that one as well. Now when their mom dropped all three of them off, she said that she wanted every single last one of them really, really short because she doesn't want to bring them too often because she has so many dogs, like I said in the last video. Now, this is Minnie's very first grooming ever. And as you guys know, I am hardcore against shaving a puppy their very first visit because you do not know how a puppy is going to respond to any of it if they freak out in between the groom you have to send them home half done one third done one fourth done they can freak out at the end of the groom so when i first found out that she wanted a full body haircut i was very hesitant because like i said puppies are unpredictable so you never never know so i just tested her out throughout the whole groom just to see if she was able to get a full body haircut and you guys will see if she did or if she didn't if you stick through this video So I am washing her in the protein shampoo that is the same shampoo that I washed Stella in and the same shampoo that I washed Sebastian in and Sebastian's groom is going to be next week. But as you can see, Minnie is doing really good for her bath. I think she just enjoys the massage. When I first turned the water on, she was a little nervous for it, but once I started just kind of rubbing her down with the shampoo, she just mellowed out. <laughs> she's so precious and she's so tiny, but she was so awesome.
so i know i said this in one of my other videos but i do want to say it again i appreciate that y'all appreciate the fact of how good of a bath i give i i cannot groom a half clean dog and i just try and take pride in everything that i do and a pet parent is looking for a clean dog they want to pick up their dog feel how soft it is and smell that dog they don't want to pick up their dog the coat is still rough and the dog still doesn't smell that great just kind of smells like a wet dog and also it's like a spa experience for dogs so i like to rub them down massage their little paws which is not necessarily my mentality when i'm doing it i'm just trying to really get their paws clean but some dogs enjoy the massage on their paws and they actually like it so for me it's just completing the spa experience because if i'm going to a spa i want the spa to be a certain way so for dogs this is like their spa treatment so i want it to be a certain way and i also want them to enjoy the experience so i appreciate all of you guys who noticed my detail in my work
so now for her drying she did really good for the most part but just like a typical puppy a normal puppy she was not a fan of the dry being on her face so you'll see me pick her up and hold her and dry her face that way and just kind of hold the dryer a little bit further away from her face and like I said in Stella's video the nozzle that I'm using on her is a softer nozzle because it is not that full circle nozzle it's more of a flat spread out nozzle so it's not as high pressured as the other nozzle so dogs tend to do better with this nozzle
So now I'm going to be pulling Minnie out to the table and just going over her puppy trim first just to kind of see how she does to see if she will allow me to do a haircut. If she jerks at any point in time, if she flinches, if she screams, if anything happens, I will not push her through a haircut. So stick around and see what I do. If I do a haircut, I'll explain what I'm doing. If I don't do a haircut, I will explain why I did it. So as you can see, she is shaking a little bit because this is not too much longer after her blow drying. I did let her have a break in the kennel in between the blow drying and pulling her out to groom her, but she is still a little nervous from the blow drying because she doesn't know what to expect on the table. So for her puppy trim, I'm just going to ease her into everything. Right now I'm just brushing her out and I'm going to comb through her to make sure there are no mats on her. So right now I'm just opening and closing the scissors in front of her face just so she can get used to the sound of the shears just to see her reaction to it. You can see she's trying to back up a little bit but it's nothing drastic. She's not like screaming, she's not thrashing, she's not acting like she's in pain. It's almost just like oh those scissors are close to my eye but as you can see she relaxed and she just lets me do what I have to do.
so because she was basically perfect for her puppy trim which is the first step before i give any puppy a full body haircut let me go through the puppy trim first to see how you do and if you do okay if you don't flinch move a muscle we can probably get a haircut done on you so because she was next to perfect for her puppy trim i did decide to go through and do a haircut on her yes it is against my better judgment to do a haircut on a puppy their very first visit but she was almost like an anomaly of dogs like you don't see puppies like her ever that do this good their very first visit and when i say she was even better for the haircut i was just amazed at her she did better than her parents <laughs> So what I'm going to be doing on little Minnie is a one guard comb on her body. So that is a half an inch. So it is short, but it's not as short as I took her siblings because I didn't think that she was ready for that short of a haircut to feel the blades vibrate on her legs and things like that. I didn't think she was ready for that. So I did a guard comb. Guard comb, you don't feel the blade. You just have the guard comb going down your leg. So I did a half an inch on her body and then on her head, I did a five eighths of a guard comb so just one step up because she wants them tight all over i didn't want to do two steps up and the face be too long and it'd be mad at the next time so i did one step up and scissored the face tight
And as you can see, she's still doing good for the haircut. She gets a little distracted when people are talking close by her or when the dryer was on, but she is doing pretty decent. So where her focus is going, when you constantly see her turn her head pretty much in the direction of the camera, but really what's happening is there is a dog behind me, which is the same dog that was behind me in Stella's video that is not doing so great for grooming and she's trying to focus on that dog because he is acting up so she's constantly turning to see what he's doing why is he doing certain things so that's what's going on here she's not necessarily being bad for the grooming she's just trying to figure out okay what's wrong with that dog why is he acting like that is he going to get off is he going to going to come near me she's just that's all she's doing is paying attention to something else <laughs> which to be honest every single dog does that whether they are a seasoned dog that always gets groomed or it's a new dog that just came into the grooming salon every dog tries to pay attention to a dog that's acting up because they're like what is wrong with you <laughs> And right there, that's her testing to see what she can get away with. So as you can see, she was trying to swat at me with her paw. She realized, okay, I can't get that way. So then she tried to, what you call bite, but it wasn't really a bite. It was more of like a, hey, let me see if I can put my teeth on your hand and see what you do there. And then when I blew in her face, she went, okay, well, I can't do that either. Never mind. <laughs> One thing I want to note for new groomers and pet parents who are trying to groom their dogs at home or even pet parents that just want to understand dog groomers 
dogs will do whatever they can to try and test you and see how far they can get away with something or see what they can get away with so when you see your groomer being stern or if you have to be stern it's not to hurt the puppy it's not to hurt the dog it's just so they understand that hey for future services you can't do this so they remember okay for future services i can't do this And the reason I'm giving her a mix of positive reinforcement and negative reinforcement is basically to show her what she can and cannot do. So you get a no when you try and raise your paw. You get a good girl when you're staying still. So as you can see, she res she's responding to both of them very quickly and very well. So I was very proud of her. Very, very proud of her.
Okay, so now I'm putting the finishing touches up on Minnie. As you can see, she is looking absolutely adorable. I attempted to put this bow on her and then the rubber band snapped and I just gave up on both bows because I didn't feel like fighting with them. <laughs> so now I'm finishing the touches on her. I hope you guys enjoyed this groom. Make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video, drop a comment down below, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Train your dogs for grooming. Make sure you watch every video straight through. Watch those ads. Enjoy the videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.